two kids uh, at their position match up with anyone and they have great game experience and they've been a part of and used to winning and so obviously the stopping those two guys or trying to slow them down was a huge key to the game we thought we wanted to be really aggressive on ball screens against Nick and we were able to do that our, our guards pressured the ball very well and our big guys were up there and then I thought Sandy Cohen had a remarkable game against Hayes I mean he's one of the most versatile uh, players in the country and I thought Sandy um, uh, just fought him the entire night and that's who Sandy's becoming I mean, he's become our best perimeter defender and you have confidence putting him on all-american caliber players like Hayes by our first like real uh, away game uh, we've been to Brooklyn but that's no one's home court and so to be able to go here with the filled uh, crowd tonight it was uh, it was nice to see guys just have the game faces when the crowd got loud and they're making runs not to get uh, worried and panicked and just stick to the game plan. So that's why I thought uh, we did a really good job on You know, uh, this is great just because this is Riley. You live with these guys and you hear them all year. And so uh, this is bragging rights. I wanted to uh, show who's the best team in the state. And so I thought just the way our team played tonight, the way we got after it, uh, it was awesome. But this is a great place to play. I mean, the support that the student body and fans give their team is incredible and, and they deserve it because they've had sustained success. Uh, this is an incredible place to win. Not met very many teams have done it. I remember when I was assistant at Duke, we came up here with a team that won a national championship and we just got our butts handed to us. And, um, you know, comparing our win at Seton Hall to this year is not, I don't think it's an apt comparison because we're two completely different teams. But nonetheless, this is a tough place to win and our, and our guys were able to show great toughness and togetherness to get it. And for that, I'm happy for them and I'm proud of them. But I, a lot of those shots I liked. We had to hurry a couple at the end. Um, you know, when you're trying to play beat the clock, uh, that's not good for your shooting percentage. But yeah, Nigel struggling a little bit, B struggling. Um, you know, whether it's memo, whether they think they have to do so much more. But think about the way B has shot the ball, and we've been in a one-point game and a two-point game. Now, that can be either encouraging. You can either use that as a positive, like, hey, B, you don't have to do everything for us. And settle down and let's you know, maybe make that extra pass, maybe uh, give it up, get it back type thing that coaches always tell their players. But I think he's feeling right now that he has to score in his mind X number of points, not because we've said it, but I think he has made up his mind that that's something he's got to do for the team. Our guys are pretty gritty. Are you kidding me? That's a comeback. Uh, we put ourselves right there. I, I tell you, I told him in the locker room, I'll tell guys when they're not doing things well, and I'll tell guys when they're doing things well. And that. Uh, that poise they showed to when Marquette had everything going for him. That last, uh, what, seven minutes? Seven, eight minutes, uh, boy, we got some turnovers. We got some, uh, we got some good looks. But still in the end, you come up short. So still 40 minute game, but uh, I, I'll tell you, there, there are some teams out there that when things weren't going real well would not have come back the way our guys did. I really liked that. And one of the big reasons we did was the defense that we played on the two bigs. As long as we're hitting the glass, as long as we're trying to give ourselves a chance, Tom, it's not, it, it's, when you go from being the most efficient offense in the country uh, to doing some of the things we're doing right now, it's tomorrow at practice, you better better eliminate three of those for the next game. Eliminate another one for the next game after that. Two more after that. Pretty soon you got five, six, seven better possessions and you're you're in a, be in a better position. Mm, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've always been a pass first point guard. So like we were just talking about when they doubled me off the ball screens, I tried to hit the open man. <clears throat> but also, you know, I'm still trying to decide when to you know be aggressive and when to pass when I need to take over and stuff like that so um, it's still an ongoing process and uh, I think I just need to do a little better job of um, when I'm coming off that ball screen and maybe the big does switch on to me being a little more patient 
you know, maybe uh, get him off balance and then shooting because a couple of those uh, jumpers I shot were a little off balance. <coughs> so if I do that and uh, maybe win the game. I think we did a much better job in that little spam playing and, it, and whenever uh, you want to lose, you always remember that it's not as bad as it is or as good as it is. And we can see that within that little run that we had that we're capable of playing um, a better brand of basketball. And if we can put that little span into uh, into an entire game, then um, obviously it would be a much better team. Uh, it's always frustrating when you lose games, but you know we're trying to learn as much as we can from these losses. Not that you need to lose to learn, but uh, with the results of those being losses, these, these close games, that um, we see what we're capable of doing in each one of these losses. We see a stretch where this is the basketball we're supposed to play. These are the principles and fundamentals we're supposed to apply. And then we look at the entirety of the game, and then we see we didn't do that. So if we can try and channel some of those spurts that we have in these losses and find a way to put that into an entire game, um, like I said, we'll definitely be a much better team. Uh, we don't look at it as concerning. We just, um, like Nigel said, we're just learning every time. And uh, yeah, we're not going to hang our heads after this game, but we're just going to go back to the drawing board, see what we could have done better. and. Uh, simply apply it to the next game. Um, we don't look at it as, you know, we lost two in a row, we're done now. You know, we just try to get the next one. So that's our goal.